Okay, hello everyone, Luisa once again, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of all of the hallowed weapons which are found in a reborn mod in Terraria. There will be an annotation on the screen right now on how to get hallowed ore in your world. The first item is the hallowed Grand Falcon, and this requires 7 hallowed bars, which in total is 35 hallowed ore. This item is very similar to the Dungeon Guardian Sword, the only difference is being that it's slightly weaker and that it is slightly faster than the Dungeon Guardian Sword. I do however think that it is slightly better than Dungeon Guardian Sword simply because, like I said, it is slightly faster. Compared to the best melee weapon in 1.1 which was Excalibur, it does actually do an additional 2 damage but does have a bit weaker of a knockback. That doesn't mean matter that much for swords though in my opinion so I do think it is actually a better sword than Excalibur and considering it is quite easy to get, it's quite a good weapon because of that. Next up is the Hallowed Grand Warhammer which costs 12 Hallowed Bars or an equivalent of 60 Hallowed Ore. This weapon has one of the highest radiuses in the entire game and is great against a pack of enemies. Although the weapon is slow, the knockback, critical strike and damage makes up for that. The hammer is quite costly in terms of hallowed bars but since there isn't actually that many uses for hallowed bars it's more than worth it. Again I do actually think this weapon is actually better than Excalibur. Excalibur has got quite a small range and doesn't actually do that much damage. This weapon on the other hand has a very big radius and does slightly more damage than Excalibur. But that's pretty much it for this weapon so on to the next. Next up is the Hallowed Great Poleaxe which costs 14 Hallowed Bars or 70 Hallowed Ore. You might notice somewhat of a theme going on right now, the cost is going up of the Hallowed Bars, the size of items getting bigger and also the damage is getting bigger. This item is extremely costly but it is very very good. Again similar to a hammer, it's very good at dealing with a crowd of enemies and despite the very slow speed of item it's still pretty damn awesome. One disadvantage of this item compared to the hammer is that it's only got an average knockback compared to the better knockback of the hammer. But like I said earlier, if a weapon has a slightly lower knockback, it doesn't really matter as long as it makes up with, with damage or something else, which is exactly what this weapon does. It has a higher damage and it also is slightly bigger than the hammer. Overall, I do think this weapon is one of the best in the game, but not necessarily the best. The next weapon is the Hallowed Great Sword, which costs 13 Hallowed Bars or 65 Hallowed Ore. This weapon is essentially Excalibur version 2. It does do quite a bit more damage, it is very slow and it boasts a slightly bigger radius of attack. The weapon does look very cool but because of the cost of it and because of the comparison in stats compared to Excalibur, I don't actually even think it's better than Excalibur. Because Excalibur is very fast compared to this weapon which is very slow, it's simply nowhere near as good. Because the weapon is in theory easier to get than Excalibur, because of course for Excalibur you do need to kill one of the hardware bosses, it is a decent weapon if you do end up getting it before you do actually get Excalibur. Overall this is one of the weakest of the hallowed items. The final item is the hallowed long safe which costs 15 hallowed bars which is the equivalent of 75 hallowed ore. That makes this item the most expensive in terms of hallowed bars in the entire of the reborn mod. But with the cost comes a lot of power. Not only is this one of the biggest items in the game, but it also does a lot of damage. It has a decent speed, it's not a very slow item, it's simply a slow item, and it does have a decent amount of knockback. This item, similar to other hallowed items, is great for a bunch of enemies, but this item in particular works on single enemies just as effectively, really. It's probably my personal favourite melee weapon of the entire game, and I don't really like melee weapons. However, for someone who does use melee weapons a lot, this is probably the weapon you're going to be aiming for at the end of the game. But thanks a lot for watching, if you did find this video useful or informative, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. If you've got any questions about the items, just leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later.